And Jill came tumbling after Carrie and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water Carrie fell down and broke his crown All right, here's the skinny you're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns, isn't that enough? I'm asking for real, I really don't know. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian, that's fantastic! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. And Jill came tumbling out. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene! Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Where's diapers? And he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This'll be worth it, I promise. How about things going? Looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. I gotta go restock my supply. And that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit and I'll have plenty more. I promise. I just... I just need some recovery time. Here we go! Welcome to Mr. Keeps Who Gives a Shit. You gotta buy something. You ever been to a store before? You know how this works, right? Oh, sorry, partner. That's not for sale. A perfect fit for a little shit. We're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. 
You need anything else or can I fucking go? Quick, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hello? Who's there? Was trying to prank call me? Okay, good work. You got me. I don't give a shit. You think I care about getting pranked? Okay, fuck you! I've got powerful friends. I know a really strong bounty hunter, and I'm gonna send him to kick your ass! How do you like that, huh? Hello? Who is this? If this is Nancy from the City Comptroller, I actually would like to speak to you. Is this Nancy? Well, I'll tell you what, if it is or isn't, maybe you could pass on the message to Nancy because I'm not sure if you're aware, but on my block on 67 Rosebud, well, the Rosebud Avenue between uh, Terrace uh, Court and uh, Jarvis Street, in that, in that area, I have a pool in the back of my yard. It's a saltwater pool, and the neighborhood boys they come around on their fucking BMX bikes and they, they ride all over my, my, my rose garden. But that's not the, where it ends, is they take the little rocks and the little pieces of fertilizer and soil from my garden and they throw it into my fucking pool. And all those goddamn little rocks, they get into the filter and I gotta change that thing out every single time they do it. And those filters are about $700. So, I don't know if that's part of your jurisdiction, but maybe could you get somebody out here to figure that fucking shit out, otherwise I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands. And I've killed before. Now, legally, it was under, um, it was in war. I have been, I have served, but I know what it's like to take a life. And I will do it to the children, or at least their fucking parents, because I'm out $1,400, and if you can't do the math, Nancy, that's two fucking filters. So if you'd get back to me as soon as you can, or, or, or I guess if you can pass this on to Nancy, just let me know and I'll figure it out. And if it's one of your little shits crank calling me, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. You just wait. Do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But, uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so, uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Holy shit. Wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay. Woo that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah. You know, okay, sure. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike.
Uh, where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh my God, I, I swear to God it was right here just a second ago. I, I we, we were right here. I don't even know. <laughs> My mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you piece of shit. I thought you were a good guy. You're a bad guy. You're a black hat hacker. I was about to put some real cool mags on it, make it even cooler, but it was pretty cool already, and you lost it! You bastard! You bitch! Fuck you, bitch, you stupid fucking prick. Oh, sorry. I do know a Dr. Tidbits and, and a Dr. Gribbits, but uh, no Dr. Giblets. Oh, I just like to take a nice morning stroll every day. It gets the blood pumping, and I get to have lovely conversations with strangers like you. Oh gosh, the G3. They're those evil drug dealers, aren't they? I don't like to think about people like them. They're making everyone's lives worse. This is going to sound weird, but no. I've really, truly never done anything bad. I've never even lied or, or gotten jealous. I'm just, I'm just good. It's pretty crazy. The fuck is what is hey, with this do crowd? Best and have fun. Blood you think I forgot in. you sided Blood with this in. dipshit Blood instead of me? In. No, Blood I didn't. Fuck, fuck off. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just cause High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro. Oh look, another one walking away when they hear the truth. My name is... Oh, anyways, like I was saying, I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. The trial wasn't publicized, wasn't They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless fanboys and drug addicts. But hey, what's the difference, am I right? Come on, I'm doing really great social commentary over here. Just open the gates! Uh, I don't want to miss the Hyperbon 6 uh, Midnight Launch in High on Life! Alien law. And, uh, that's it. So, um... Alright. Are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it! Is that right? Spaghetti nose! Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say? Why? 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 Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Um, it, it, uh, it's very painful. It feels really bad, and I like my boogers aren't that much of a problem. Thank you, thank you for that. You have ruined our <laughs> public image. We are not affiliated with Noodle Nose. Noodle Nose are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> they took our ideas. Nose <laughs> spaghetti nose. Have you ever had this happen to you? Help! Help me! Help me! Help me, please! Help! Ow! Ow! Help me! Help me! Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Well, never again, because now we have the brand new this. Oh, 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 okay, oh, 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 well, oh, well, okay, well, now, well, now I sorta, now I can, now I can kinda see, and that's what you'll see when you buy this for yourself, and you can never have to deal with this. Oh, 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 okay, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, hold on, wait a second, get out of here, hold, oh, oh, ever again. We have with us today the star of the new film, Turtle Fuckers, uh, Jake Turtlefucker. <laughs> Sorry, is that your real name? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> coincidence that I had that name before I got the part in this movie, but yeah, I'm the star of the Turtle Fuckers film. Yeah, that's really incredible. Uh, this, this film is really turning a lot of eyes, a lot of people are really into it. It's, it's winning a lot of awards. How do you feel about all that? I mean, honestly, for me, I... about 
about fucking the turtles. Were the turtles okay with being fucked? Oh my god, yeah, I, I added in my contract. I don't want to fuck any turtles that don't want to get fucked. <laughs> Angelica. Would you chill out? They don't need to die! Oh, hey, hey, uh, I know I look like uh, I'm one of those G3 guys, but I am not in the G3. I'm like one of the few people of my species who did not join the G3. I'm, we, we call ourselves Merkeloids or Merkelids or what, I, can't, I literally can't remember the name of our species. But that's fine, I, it's not important. We're, we're literally cannon fodder. That's kind of what our species is. Everyone gets pressured into to joining the G3 and then they get killed. It sucks. And I don't want to be one of those one of those dead cannon fodder types. I want to live my life. I'm not going to be peer pressured into joining a criminal organization. No way. I'm going to go hang out here in Blim City. But guess what? No, oh, okay, you don't want to talk to me. Oh, yeah, where, where was I? I'm going to go hang out here in Blim City. But guess what? People are a little racist towards me because of all all the other people in my species are working for an evil organization. So now I gotta deal with discrimination, if you can believe it. That sucks. It's not fun. Discrimination's not good. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> discrimination sucks. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll have more to say if you come back. Come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hey, what's up, Lordo? Y you know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S-rank interrogation. The jetpack was a great investment. You know, I love it.
Hey, it's me again, creature! Glad we got this jetpack. Let us in. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my I friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Have you have you ever eaten your own poop? Because. You know, it, it gets hard, it gets tough down here in the slums. That's where it, sometimes you gotta just eat, you gotta do it. I mean, I don't have to, I have foods usually, but I still, I mean, I still... Well, okay, okay, so we're looking for this I, new high on life store? Hopefully the slums are a little more chill now that we took pieces. out Nine Torque. Oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Uh, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Hey, Nobody wants to talk to you. Oh, you're back. I get it. Well, you need somebody to go with you? Three now. So it's best not to stick your nose where where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! Oh fucking oh, goddamn it! God. It's the bounty hunter. The back and the. I'm losing blood. You know, I gotta admit, we all were really exterminated. More G3. You're not gonna. I want you to watch it. Oh, I wish I could have that on me. Have you washed your hands recently? They smell oh. nice. Why aren't you using my trick hole? 
How's it going? I really want you to use my glob shot. Use my glob shot. on the right trail if they're coming at us this hard. Come on, let, let's get to this high on life place. Damn well this isn't sanitary and, and it hurts like fuck! Hey, you're using me again! Thanks so much! Look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird.
easy when we're up close. Oh, hey, what's been going on out here? humans we've been saving just having a nice chill time Toss him something to eat or... Oh, wait, we could save him. Sorry, I forgot about that option. Yeah, let's save him. What's going on? All right, that that that's got to be the high on life store. I need the new hyperbox. You don't understand. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Real, real, real loud. This is not screaming. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923. Your local hyper... Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by During the way. The you know me. Lodge. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? 
Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about. High on life Hyperbongs are the only way to get that fixed. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your Hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened. So uh, i only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. 
be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Thanks, man. Touch me again. Oh, boy, you gotta touch me. Don't touch me. Holy shit! What, what the fuck? What, was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the old- Hey, sick move! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Lutz ever did. Look at you! This Luglox is guts. Get ready for another wave, bounty hunter!
Too, so get the fuck out of this shit! Oh shit, why would you go in here? What's wrong with you? Hello there. You guys again? Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny Slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been warping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? You're gonna step through the portal door? So, and uh, what kind of stuff what? did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. Welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug! Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask... for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with 
Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, we that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk, not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Find us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. I said thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. I caught one of those human movies recently. The Godfather. Holy moly, Stromboli, that movie was good. Bam, boom! Francis Ford Coppola, he's back, baby! This is where our dad works. He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. He should only live and be well. You're doing great work. Get out of town. Go. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Okay. You, uh, you seen Merv? Uh, no. Uh, why do you come in? It's cold. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home, but when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him this upset. I'm afraid he's gonna do something silly. That's funny. Scott hasn't come back yet, either. Uh, I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up soon and find myself back in my bed at school. Just waiting to come home. I'm gonna give Sarah a call. Maybe she saw him around. She knows him? Oh, she saw a photograph. He didn't show me one. Okay. What's good enough for Sarah is good enough for me. The Bible my mother left for me. I treasured it always with me. Though it bred bare and worn since the day I was born. It's been such a comfort to me. Well, that's it. I have called everybody now. Either Scott didn't make it in this town at all, or it simply just vanished off the face of the earth. Why don't you try Sarah again and see if she got to work yet? Yeah, she should have been there almost an hour.
Whoa, it looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. At first we were scared. How did we end up here? Where were we? Should we leave our highway? And it turns out the answer is, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll let you go. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. It turns out the answers in order as I asked them were, I don't know, I don't know, and definitely not. It is true, we used to hate each other, honking and shouting, fuck you, back and forth, like animals, but now we have found community and love. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. I guess we don't have to kill everyone. I mean, you know, whatever. Incoming! A movie starting. You know, we deserve a break. L let's watch. L let's sit down and watch. It's starting. So, guys, what are we watching today? I don't know. It's just a black screen right now. All right. Nice and but comfy. I'm very, uh, very anxious. 
What does it say, Rich? It says demon wind. Demon wind. Oh, I can hear wind. That's the demon wind. Are you sure? Are it's those guys really gonna just talk wind? the whole time? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. Somebody got burnt down across in 1931. There was a lot more common back then, right? Uh, I don't know. Stop all those lawn <laughs> crucifixions. <laughs> Fluffy in her cage at night. It's the worst family barbecue ever. I I, I figured out the fa uh, family lineage, by the way, gentlemen. I've of, seen this, of this film movie we haven't watched. I, I've seen the film before, uh, 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 fourteen different times. Oh my God, you've seen Demon Wind fourteen times. Yes, and you guys. Have, have so this not. has to be really good. Then. Well, no, I can't wait. I, I've watched it fourteen times so I can figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. Having a fireplace made out of cardboard paper doesn't seem like the best idea. Jesus was always my favorite family member. So what relation is Jesus? That's our Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Great Uncle Jesus. Jesus, it, ironically, all of his photos are in color, but all the people born in 1931, all their photos are in black and white. I don't know how they achieved this technological <laughs> achievement marvel. Would it hurt you to smile, Grandma? You're in demon wind. Your career is going places. Uncle Jesus, the college years. Oh, it's my favorite song, Washed in the Blood of the Lamb by Styx. That's what you got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they like their candles, I guess. Uh, their wicker baskets. They love the Jesus. Wait, the Jesus protects the house when, it, except for the fact that he doesn't protect the house. Candles, glass jars, religious photos, wicker baskets. Oh, now I know where my thrift store got all of its merchandise. That's what you got? Oh God, this is the worst Thanksgiving ever. No one showed up. The one guy that did show up, they burned on a cross. Help me, Jesus. I'm watching Demon Wind. It's kind of funny. They, they, they've con they all this religious picture, all these religious pictures, you know? Oh, they have all these pictures of Jesus, but they never once, like, mentioned Jesus in any of their spells. It's not religious, you know, towards the end, Jay. We've oh, seen you, it. you've seen this movie I've before? I've seen this movie before. Rich. Oh. And Jay. And so you paid to see it again in a theater, huh? I did. That's... Well, I mean, it's got to be good, right? I, I, I'm assuming so. Yeah, we'll find out. spent all their money on the Jesus pictures. Oh. Those boards are nailed to the door. That literally does nothing. They're, you know what I mean? Do, do you know what I'm saying, Rich? I know what you're saying. They're just nailed to the door. They're not, they're not keeping the, the... Oh, I guess a little bit goes on the floor. A couple of them are on the floor. Okay, they, I they take keep you from pulling the door out. That's true. But you know what? In my personal experience, if a demon wants to get in your house, nothing's gonna stop him. You know? Getting stronger. Did Zach Baggins tell you that? He did. Did you bring the daggers yeah. and the diary? You always told me you liked my cooking. He's just uh, having a diabetic reaction to her Christmas cookies. This is what happens when rich eats fish. He stopped. I told you I was allergic to your green bean casserole. He's went to the gym with John Travolta. 
<laughs> I don't understand that <laughs> joke at all, but I think I do, and I don't like it. <laughs> Does John Travolta have diseases? I don't understand your joke. Think it was a semen joke. <laughs> like that's what was coming out of his mouth, all curdled and disgusted, no. filled with blood. And that's what Hollywood does to you. Are you sure we're not watching David Lynch's Dune? This is the Baron, right? Yeah, drink this snow globe. Like drink the snow it's globe? Got, it's got Benadryl in it. <laughs> both of us. This, now the snow globe is magic, Rich. No, my For no reason at all. If she you breaks the snow globe. Jesus snow globe. The curse is broken. No. So, no. So Stop. I really don't know. Stop. Although this is only the, their second worst thing. I'm not liking this pretty season cake. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's, that's enough of that. Is that the end of the movie? No. no. Ladies and gentlemen, Ireland's most advanced expressway. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> as soon as we meet our hero, Corey, I'll Talk explain to, to you the lineage. Or you guys just ask about me. Anything, about I what mean, this is the me. premise. Uh, driving. He's driving. Uh, he's taking his girlfriend. Lily Rabe. B. Arthur? No, he's driving her. Oh, here's a flashback. He's driving her to visit to find his grandparents' uh, uh, farm farmhouse. Farmhouse. And now this is Corey's dad. He hasn't seen his dad Corey. his whole life, and he decides to look him up and visit him. Dad? And then the very next day after what being like visited by his son, Corey, his dad kills Just himself. So a pretty standard Christmas. I mean, maybe he killed you himself because he lived in a, no. a cardboard it's apartment funny. building. Yeah, or Corey told him he was going really to pursue acting. <laughs> I'm in this new dad. film called Demon Wind. Fuck this! I'm sorry I ever laid eyes on him. I can't live with the shame. Uh, I can't live with the shame <laughs> of your career. Me in the face once. Uh, but he hasn't told his girlfriend about that his father killed himself. All he told her is, "Listen, uh, we uh, we got to go find my grandparents' farm. Yeah. And and I'm gonna invite twelve of my whitest friends to come along." It's always nice to take a break, you know. But eventually, you got to get back to the adventure, you know. Another warp base. Holy shit, is that, is that some sort of miniature town? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one-inch tall guys who love each other. Oh, fantastic! You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 you're destroying everything! Oh my god, you're so big! I, I didn't I didn't realize how big you were compared to our tech. Ah! That was our power plant, our nuclear power plant! Totally safe, by the way, until you came and triggered a nuclear reaction! It just wiped out an entire neighborhood! Hundreds of happy families dead in an instant! And the radiation will linger for decades, killing anything that tries to grow there! Oh my god, this is, this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 
no, no, no, no. I hate seeing everyone I love die. Oh no, there goes Cutie Steven. You just stepped on Cutie Steven. You didn't even realize it because you're so big. You just step on my friends and it doesn't even register to you. Oh no. Cutie Steven was my lover. We okay, that's it. That's my whole my whole town. My whole little cutie town's ruined. You've ruined the whole city and all my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive. And I am going to kill myself, I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm gonna be so depressed I just pop a gun in my own head and I die. I'm just gonna fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't wanna be alive. My whole town and home is gone and dead and you did it, it's your fault. I know I invited you in, but you should have realized you're so big, you're gonna ruin things. You should have told me. I didn't think about it, I'm kinda dumb sometimes, but you're you're not as dumb as me, I I assume, so you should have said, hey, I'm not gonna go in there. I don't wanna stomp on shit like a big Godzilla. Not for me. Not, not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to go kill everybody. That's what you should have said. Instead, you just did it. You walked in and you knocked over entire buildings. Everyone's dead now. I am, I am so sad. I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I mostly I'm just yelling, but if you, if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to calm down right now. I am so fucking sad. I'm so fucking depressed now. Do you have a- can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be- I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. Yeah? Whoa, Jesus! I wasn't sure if you were gonna actually kill him. Poor guy. You know, m maybe it was the right thing to do. Yeah, I don't, I, th that's on them, right? For inviting us in, you know? Think about it. 